I rearranged and now my Ahsoka isn't on camera. It's really bothering me. Hello everyone, Jeremy here. Today I'm about to take a look at The Mandalorian's new trailer that just dropped uh, about from 20 hours ago. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm a huge fan. I love the first season so much it's ridiculous. Uh, I've started a rewatch of it, counting down to when we get the new season. Which waiting week to week's gonna hurt, but still, cannot wait. So, I, I just, I'll give speculation at the end, but I, I have to see this. You have something I want. It will be mine. Season streaming October 30th on Disney Plus. I need to watch that eight more times. Okay, it didn't show much, but I am okay with what it did show. I don't want to know too much at this point. We're almost there. I've got a couple weeks. So I don't really want to have spoilers, but I like the teases. I love the teases because we're getting uh, Grief Karga again, obviously. And uh, is it Kara Dune? Is it Dune? Like, you know, the movie and books, Dune? I, I think it is. Uh, not a, necessarily a fan of Gina Carano in real life, but that's not why we're here. So I'm really excited to see this. I, I have heard some cool theories, like what I, my thought was this could be a random ice planet or even not Hoth. Or whatever the planet was, and I looked this up before and I cannot remember, the planet that uh, the blue senator girl in the Clone Wars, uh, she was from, because Anakin and Obi-Wan went there and they brokered peace between them and the indigenous people and that planet. I wondered if it could be that, but I also heard it pointed out that it could be Ilum because the Empire took over Ilum after Order 66. And it actually became Starkiller Base in uh, the sequels, which I didn't even remember that was a thing. I must have blocked that out of my memory because that is such a... I already hate the Empire for a lot of reasons. That is unforgivable. <laughs> you destroyed Ilum. You gave it to the First Order. Oh, oh, oh. But anyway, that is a really cool uh, theory, which I would actually be happy if that's what it was. If, But at the same time, that would be Imperial occupied. Well, I guess, it, and or if not occupied, it would probably be the planet the Empire's retreated to, so I couldn't see that. I don't know, it, it'd be a hard thing to pull off. I don't know. You'd think Ilum would be occupied by the Empire, even now, after Return of the Jedi, because if you've read the Aftermath books, which this should take place somewhat after, if not around the same time, the Empire still exists, but they've retreated and they've become the First Order. Uh, I would think that they retreated to Ilum, to be honest. That's kind of my theory, because if they turned that into Starkiller Base, it was going to take them the entire 30 years to do that. So, don't think that works. I've also heard the Sabine, the Sabine Wren theory on the girl in the cloak. I, I want to see Sabine in live action. I'm not convinced that's her. But again, also we've heard the rumors about Ahsoka. We've heard rumors about, uh, well, I, the Boba Fett rumors, I totally believe at this point. I believe we're getting Boba Fett. I don't see how you could do a series called The Mandalorian and it's set right after Return of the Jedi and you don't have Boba Fett. And if you don't know his story, there were clues also in the Aftermath books suggesting he didn't die. We never saw him. We never saw him in the books. I'll spoil that for you, sorry. But it was very much alluded to that Fett might still be alive. And I kind of wonder if that's what we're getting 
in the series because there have been a few little things that I've wondered about. And it's also the rumor of, um, is it Manu Bennett? I think that's his name, that played Django and the clones is coming back. So, but again, it's all rumors that we have seen no set photos of these people. <laughs> so it's... And the thing is, I stay away from that stuff. If you do know spoilers, don't put them below. Just don't. We're so close at this point. I'm more into the speculation. I love the speculation. I don't necessarily want the burden of knowing. I, I already am bad enough already about guessing what will happen in a movie or a TV show just because I went to school for writing. And one of the best tips I ever got in my screenwriting class came from uh, J. Michael Straczynski, who had written the book that we were studying and at the beginning he said once you learn how to do this be prepared for everything you watch for the rest of your life to be ruined he was not wrong so any of you writers or aspiring writers out there you either know or will know exactly what i mean so that's why i don't like set photos or speculation because it just feeds into the machine and so i can put it all together and i don't want to do that i like rings of bride so what do you think? Are you as excited as I am? Because I'm apparently out of my mind excited. <laughs> Leave your comments below. And as always, please hit like and subscribe because it helps the channel out immensely. All right. Before I go, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thanks for watching.